Yo, what is going on guys? Vortec Gaming here and uh, welcome to life at Certain Enze. Yes, um, if you watched to the end of the previous video, you will know that we got sacked from Harrogate Town in just November. It was the beginning of November. I was just about <laughs> I was just about to live con the first game in November. And uh, yeah, we got sacked. But anyway, we've moved to Portugal. Um, it's a country that I've never managed in on Football Manager before, um, so I'm I really don't know how it's gonna go. In the first game, we have Aguias Moradal. I haven't played a game yet, but we have set up the formation tactic. We're gonna go with a four-two-three-one. Now, this is my preferred formation in Football Manager. Um, not necessarily the roles or even the mentality and team instructions. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna try a more counter-attacking tactic um in in portugal we're gonna we're gonna try a bit more you know be a bit more um sit back a bit more soak up some pressure and uh and try and get well yeah just we're gonna try and beat them on the counter um we've got some uh, they're not brilliant players but they're not awful they are actually pretty similar to um to, well, to the team that we just left. See, they're not much better. I mean, they're not awful, but they're not exactly the best players in the world either. Um, you can see our right back, Ibrahim Koulibaly, whose name, for some reason, I feel like I should know. Um, definitely shouldn't. But yeah, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's, we we don't have the best team in the world, but then again. We don't have the um, the worst team in the world either. Um, we are nearing the end of the regular season. Uh, I'm not sh quite sure what will happen um, if we don't qualify for the playoffs. Um, I don't think we're anywhere near them, to be honest. Um, we're, what, eight, six points off? Six points off the playoffs. We've, there's a considerable amount of games left. But I think we're aiming for around fourth. I think would be a good position for us to finish this season. Not saying that, not saying that the um, the playoffs are impossible. Just saying that fourth place would be a nice place to uh, to kick on and uh, try and improve on for next season. We don't actually have, you know, we have to finish around the top of the league. So fourth place is around there. Um, and yeah, it's uh. This is the team we're going to play with today. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm not sure what to expect. I'm really not. I'm really not sure. Um, yeah, you see, they're not the best average rating from Kulabali, but we don't. We have. We do have Paulo Brites in there actually, who can play there. Um, we'll try Brites. He's a bit better um, average rating wise. Um, but yeah, last five games are actually not much better but we'll see how we go we'll see how we go and uh, yeah come on boys it'd be great if we could get to get off to a winning start in Portugal um, it you know it'd be great it'd be great just to kind of put the uh, disappointment of, um, of Harriet behind us with a win here why are their kits so much bigger than ours I've never understood that but there you go. Um, okay, that's what he thinks we should do. Let's leave him to that. Um, show me what you can do, boys. Show me what you can do. So I think I'm going to try and chop and change a lot more um, at certain ends. I didn't really try it. I, I stuck to kind of not really what I knew because obviously we still kind of lost well we it didn't do us any good at Harrogate um, you know we stuck to what we started with we didn't tend to chop and change too much um, obviously in the game against Gloucester I just fucking went for it and you know it ended up having a negative effect and um, we ended up conceding two goals after go after trying to go for it um, but yeah you know it's uh, was it wasn't that one might be a different game actually never mind but yeah, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna try and pay pay some more attention to the analysis. 
um, which, which you know is there to help you um, it, it's never really helped me I don't feel um, not this year anyway I was a lot better with it on FM15 I don't know why because it is essentially the same it's just laid out differently I think that's what's confusing me go on Spara, Sapara, unlucky but uh, yeah it, it just confuses me for some reason this year and I don't know why because it is literally this, it, it's a little bit more in depth than last year but it's not it's not insanely more in depth. I just can't get used to. I just. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But right. Yes. Let's try and res retain possession whilst playing counter-attacking football. Doesn't really work, does it? All right. We're in a good position here. Martins goes for goal. Could have pulled it across for Torre there. Here's Enzola headed toward goals. Good save by Danny. And uh, we we go again. We go again. Or or um or I guess Moradal could go again. That's great. <laughs> Tell you what, that's what we needed to do at Harrogate. They did it in my last game in charge. The two defenders just played brilliantly. They just hoofed everything away. Rather than playing it out like we, we normally did, which generally gave the ball away and, and uh, allowed them to build from around here. Uh, that's good interception from Cavallio. I thought Anzola was offside there but apparently not what can he do with it, he's going to shoot isn't he it was on target it was on target, it's a good save from Danny, although then again if I was Danny I'd have been disappointed if I couldn't, if I didn't hold that but we started brightly here we have started well, here's Br Bright that's a great ball, Anzola oh he's put it over oh man that was unlucky, that was unlucky Right, we are getting dominated in possession, but we seem to be having a lot of the chances here. Here's Medina, he's going to go for goal. Oh, I thought that was in. What a strike that would have been. What a what a way to start your career there. That could have been incredible. Could have been an incredible start to the to life at certain ends. Henriquez. Oh no, Henriquez. Danny Estevez. Good save from Jao Manuel. And that's well away from his off. Good defending there. Well, not not in the build-up, but the way that we got the ball away following the save was impressive. Can we counter here? Martins, that's a great ball for Torre. Go on, son. Ah, oh, he's wasted that. Fucking hell. I'll tell you what, though, that was a good break. It was a good fucking break, was that? I am trying to cut down on swearing, by the way. <laughs> it's just not happening, is it? Bissoro Torre has made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, our wingers are fucking... Well, actually, Torre is the only cam we've got on the team. Um, and, yeah, he's not doing brilliantly, is he? 6.4. Then again, Adewale Sapara on a 6.2. Um, I'm going to say I'm pleased with things, how things are going, because I am, actually. Uh, then again, I don't actually speak Portuguese. Um, still improve. No. No. No, no, nobody can understand me. This is brilliant. Um, right, yeah, definitely need to learn Portuguese. Okay, all right. Here we go for the second half. Anyway, you can see in the match stats we're we're, we're pretty much in control. Apart from, I say we're in control. Yes, João Manuel. I don't even think I've got him as a sweeper keeper actually. But he, he seems to be playing the sweeper keeper pretty well there. I'm going to take Britas off because we don't really want injuries. This early on, I'm gonna sneeze. It's only a facial injury, though. It's not. It can't be that bad. He's not gonna be out for like three days. He's only gonna be out for a couple of days, if he's out at all. Um, but yeah, we're we seem in control. Um, other than possession, um, this from what I've seen, this counter, this counter system. Go on, Enzola. Torre. It's another shot on target. Uh, actually, saying that, we haven't had many shots on target. Only the four. Shouldn't that be five now? Was that not five before? Oh no, that's poor. That is poor from Messina. Oh, was it Medina? Right. Good recovery though. I like the way we recovered there. That is awful from the goalkeeper. Oh no, not another goalkeeping error. Oh, he's missed. How did he miss? But why? Why are goalkeepers so shit? Seriously, why? Why are they all like newborn fucking giraffes? Just why? Why? 
Why are they all newborn giraffes? Come on, guys. Help me out here. Why are they all newborn giraffes? Right. Um, Ruben Sylvester is going to come on for Saparo, who's had a fucking awful game. Basaru Toro... Basaru Toro... as well. I really want to come off, but we don't actually have anybody to play in there. Um... I mean, Alexis Gonzalez. We could play in there. Oh, uh, um, Embala Nizola, Enzola. See, I think Gonzalez should be on there instead of Enzola anyway. Let's try that. Let's try that. Yeah, like I say, this team's played much better than our Torre. Oh, my goodness. That was terrible. What was he shooting from there from? Especially when he had. Gonzalez in here. That was terrible. Right. This is where they score, isn't it? Oh, that's a good save from Jaman. He's made some good saves. He had that boo boo um, midway through the second half, but he's made some good saves. And I was impressed when he actually came to clear this ball here. Uh, this is. They're going to score. I know it. I know. I know. Football Manager. They're going to score. No, that was the highlight, wasn't it? Torre. Koulibaly. That is a great ball. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. That was fucking fantastic. Oh, my goodness. And there we have it, boys. 1-0 up. What is life? What is life? That was, like, the perfect counter. From a corner, Torre, out wide to Koulibaly. Look at that for a ball. That is absolutely perfect. What a fucking pass or cross, whatever you want to call it. That was outstanding. Right. Now, let's not let's not lose our heads, boys. Let's not lose our heads. Oh, that, what a save. This, uh, this guy... Fucking, what is his name? Zhao Manuel. Oh my goodness. How is he only on a 6.7? I mean, I know he had the, the mistake earlier that almost cost us a goal. But I mean, apart from that, he's been fucking solid. Right. Um, have they changed up? They seem to have switched things up. They seem to be having a, a lot more chances. Right, Torre with a clearance. D didn't really get anywhere near Gonzalez. Is it Gonzalez? It is Gonzalez. Jorgino. Rente. Henriquez with the foul. It's free kick for us. That allows us to take the pressure off us. Then again, saying that, that is how um, we should be playing with the pressure on us. Because um, obviously we're playing counter-attacking football. It's Gonzalez. Go on, switch it out wide. That's it. Martins. Medina Santos what a ball for Gonzalez that's a poor cross that was a poor cross and uh, Moradal could look to hit us on the counter here oh no we're, we're going to get schooled at our own game oh Koulibaly what a block what a block from Koulibaly our last ditch defending has been fucking spot on go on Torre oh no their keeper's going to get to that See, their, their keepers never seem to make any any uh, mistakes like that. It only seems to be your own keeper. Alright, Martins. Come on, what can you do? Nothing needs to be said. Good header, Carvalho. When I, when I came in, when I first looked at the team, I thought that was the Ricardo Carvalho. I was like, no way. But it's not. Gonzalez. I thought he was just going to let him walk straight through to goal then. I'm happy with what I've seen from this team today. I'm I'm very, very happy with what I've seen. Could there be more? Koulibaly. Ooh, headed over the bar by Fritas. That's a corner. Can, uh, can Santos put a good ball in? Ricardo Cavallo at the near post. And uh, it was actually blocked. It's going to be another corner. Santos again with it. He's our only set-piece taker at the moment. Cavallo again, headed away again, and it's another corner. 
this is I, I tell you what I've been really impressed with what I've seen so far Santos with a corner headed away again can he put it back in no he lets it go for a throw in smart play smart play Isuf with the throw in come on number 27 is open oh finds Medina Koulibaly <laughs> just just gave up did he he just gave up oh dear dear oh dear oh dear Danny Estevez Quinzinho Lorenko Taborda that's a fucking brilliant ball Koulibaly's left it Isuf with the clearance and that should be it Go on, Koulibaly, just hoof it forward. That's it, Gonzalez. Martins, one last chance. Medina. No, that's it. Game over. Finally. Finally, the first live con win of the series. It's only taken us four episodes and two clubs. But we finally got it. Yes, boys. Fucking yes. And I was really happy with what I saw. Yeah, you know, we didn't have as much possession as I'd have liked. But the way that we actually scored the goal was exactly how I want us to play. Which is brilliant. I could not be happier with that start. You know, yeah, maybe we could have scored more than one goal. Um, I mean, I'm happy with... Yes, you know, they had more clear-cut chances than us. But, we, I mean, our defending was spot on, in my opinion spot on but you know I mean the amount of actual chances we had you know the clear cut and half it's exactly the same um, shots I would have liked more shots on target or just less shots um, you know giving us more possession but, but you know when you're playing counter attack in football I suppose the aim is just to get as many shots away as possible but yeah I am very happy with the way we've started here very, very... I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy, happy boy. Very happy. I'm just... To be fair, I'm just happy that I finally fucking won. <laughs> I, second win of the series, but only the first on-screen win. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. And like I said, you know, the goal, exactly how I want us to be playing exactly how I want us to be playing now we are over the wage budget um, I'm I don't know what I'm not sure how you know I'm not sure what we're gonna do in terms of that um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do when it comes to that uh, when it comes to the end of the season with renewing contracts and whatnot um, Apparently, Paulo Salgado is transfer listed. He's 38, yeah. He's definitely leaving. Then again, he's only on 35 quid a week anyway. Uh, we are a semi professional club, by the way. Um, so it's going to be pretty much the same in that respect as it was at Harrogate. Ande Ferreira as well can leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, is he on a professional contract? Well, he's on a semi professional contract. How much would it cost to release him on a free? Um. Then again, it's only twenty and five pound, isn't it? Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Matteo Oliveira. He's not brilliant, is he? But he's got he's got some potential, I suppose. Um, what are our wages, by the way? Who's causing us to be so far over? Ruben Silvest. Ruben Sylvester. Um, Ruben Martins, but. He look he he looks like he could be a very he's well he's the best player on the team isn't he? <laughs> Let's be honest, Ruben Martins. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's not he's not too shabby. He's not too shabby. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with our first first one on the board as manager of um, as as manager of certain Enze. Yes, those. Um, I'd like to get some kits. If anybody knows any Portuguese second division kits, then uh, you know, let us, you know, his up. Um, but yeah, 
that is it for this episode guys if you like the video then please leave a like and let us know what you think in the comments section down below and uh, yeah just chuffed to get our first win as certain end day manager and our first on screen win in this year's life at series um, but that is it for guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next episode peace what the fuck is this I literally I've, I've just attended I've just attended a press interview Oh my god. We are disappointed that you failed to control the media better despite your promise to do so when appointed. We would like you to explain yourself. What? I made a mistake. We are not sure why we should believe that after you failed to keep your promise to handle the media better. Why shouldn't we get rid of you and find someone who can handle the media better? Anything? Players are used to managers changing. We don't see this as a valid, valid reason not to fire you. We should be all. What? No. No way. Oh, this has not just happened. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Attended every press conference. I I've attended. What? Oh nah, mate. Nah. Nah. <laughs> For fuck's sake.